The 2020 CrossFit Games are officially a wrap and we have our podium. Tommy Marquez here recapping all three of the events that closed out the weekend here in California. The day started at the pool with the event titled Swim and Stuff. And for the women right away, it was Tia Claire Toomey going head to head with Haley Adams during the early intervals. And in the end, it was the champ flexing her skills in the water to pull away from Adams and win her fifth event in a row. On the men's side, Samuel Quant came out strong early to put some pressure on the rest of the field in the race for the podium but Matt Fraser would make a charge late to win the last interval. But it was Quant taking the overall event win, his first of the weekend, to stake his claim for the podium to start the day. Things moved to the field for the sprint, sled, sprint event, and Brooke Wells came out strong in the sled, pushing alongside Tia Claire Toomey for the lead in the event. But at the turnaround for the final sprint, Toomey put on the jets and strided her way to another event win, and the finish from Wells tightened the points race for the third going into the finale. In a flashback to his first title run in 2016, Matt Fraser got shot out of a cannon for the sprint, and he was in an epic foot race with Samuel Quant step for step all the way to the end, and it was a photo finish. And when the dust settles, Fraser takes the win by .37 seconds over Quant, who with a third consecutive top two finish moves himself solidly into second. The final podium spots in both divisions was up for grabs in the highly anticipated finale titled at Atlanta. And the men and women would compete side by side and early on it was Haley Adams taking the lead on the run. But Carrie Pierce needing a win to keep her podium hopes alive made a huge move on the handstand push-ups to take the lead from Adams. Matt Fraser running side by side with his training partner, Tia Claire Toomey, was the first for the men to the handstand push-ups and into the pistols while purposefully staying in lockstep with Toomey the entire time. Pierce would carry her lead through the pistols and into the pull-ups and catching David's daughter pulling into second would mean more points between Pierce and Adams. Toomey and Fraser remain side by side throughout the pull-ups, but that would mean Noah Olsen would take the event lead going into the final run. Both Pierce and Olsen would be in a one mile run for their podium lives, both desperately needing the win. And Pierce, with one of the most clutch performances ever, wins the final event to take care of her end of the bargain. Matt Fraser would pass Noah on the run for the win and in a triumphant moment to end their weekend, Fraser and Toomey would cross the finish line together, hand in hand in celebration as they both secure yet another CrossFit Games title. When things were all wrapped up on the women's side, it was Tia Claire Toomey emphatically winning her fourth consecutive CrossFit Games title put an exclamation mark on her title as the fittest woman in history. Katrin David's daughter racks up her fourth podium finish in six years, taking second overall, and Carrie Pierce is the woman to break the USA drought with her first career podium finish in third. On the men's side, Matt Fraser makes history like only Matt Fraser could by becoming the first person to win five straight CrossFit Games titles. And he does it winning 10, yes, 10, of the 12 events to stand alone in the history books. Samuel Quant, the man few saw coming, closes the weekend strong to earn his first podium in a silver medal performance. And there's a new kid in town and he's already got some hardware. Justin Medeiros caps off a phenomenal rookie campaign with a podium and a third place finish overall. The 2020 CrossFit game season has finally come to an end. After 12 long months, the fittest have been crowned and now all eyes turn to 2021. Thank you, genuinely, to everyone that has supported us along the way and followed along with us in our coverage of the season. We've been to Ireland, the UAE, China, Norway, Montreal, and all over the US. And I think I speak for everyone at the Morning Chalk Up when I say we hope you truly enjoyed the journey as much as we did. If you guys want to catch up on any of our coverage as well as get ready for the 2021 season, you can find all of our coverage at morningchalkup.com.